Good afternoon everybody, welcome to the latest tech. In this video I have a how-to video of how to update to iOS 6. Now it's pretty self-explanatory and I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on this video saying it's pretty easy, why would you make a tutorial telling us how to do this? Well, there's some people out there that simply don't know how to do this. So if you are one of those people, listen up. This whole update is going to be about 626 megabytes for the iPhone 4S. It could change for different devices. And uh, it's going to require about 2.5 gigabytes to actually download. Now, if you already have iOS 5 installed onto your iPhone, or iPad or iPod Touch, I believe it will be over the air for you. So you'll just have to go into settings, do a software update, and you'll get this screen. So it says this update contains over 200 new features, including an all new Apple Design Maps, Siri features, Facebook integration, shared photo streams, Passbook, and more. So right away, I'm just going to start downloading it. You're going to agree. Connect your phone to a power source. Not going to do that because I have enough battery. So depending on how many people are actually downloading this at the time that you do it, it's probably going to take a long time. So I'm going to take a break. When I'm done, I'll come back and uh, hopefully it will be downloaded. So as this finishes up, I do want to mention that iOS 6 is compatible with a pretty broad range of Apple products. It will be compatible with limited features with the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4, as well as the iPad 2 and the iPod Touch 4th generation. Now what they're advertising as pretty much full features is actually going to be the iPad 3, the iPhone 5, iPhone kind of 4S, and uh, the iPod Touch 5th generation. So we'll wait for this to actually finish up. It's saying preparing update. When it's done, it will simply say, do you want to install now? And at that point, we say yes. <laughs> Agree. And again, you wait for it to install. I believe this install will actually take a little bit less time than uh, actually downloading the software. As you can see, it's already verifying the update. After the phone's actually done verifying the update, it will actually reboot itself, and that will take probably three to five minutes. Could be longer, could be less. And finally, as it finishes booting, that should be the end of the installation process. So we'll just wait for that little white bar to finish up. And that will do it. iOS 6 is now officially downloaded to my iPhone 4S. It's gonna go, say upload complete. You're gonna press continue. Enable location services again like you normally did when you first set it up. I'm gonna quickly sign in. It's going to set up iCloud. It's actually going to update it for the new settings that are available with iOS 6. Uh, people can contact you on all the devices via iMessage and FaceTime using the phone number. And press next. Start using my iPhone. So, like, like just predicted, you got Passbook. All your apps are there. Um, let's go into settings and make sure that uh, it does say iOS 6 just like that right there iOS 6 so this has been a quick tutorial about how to upgrade to iOS 6 on your iPhone and uh, pretty much that's it so until next time until iOS 7 probably won't be making another iOS 6 how to tutorial so uh, I want to thank you guys for watching remember to comment below with your opinion about iOS 6 again I want to thank you guys for watching I'm Jacob from the latest tech and I'll catch you next time.